Hi, welcome to Lady Lovely Locks, and today I'm going to show you how I style this beautiful wig called Dorothy by Uniwigs. She is a hand-tied cap. She has that double mono lace top with no lace front, which I love because a lot of lace fronts make me itchy. She's 100% human hair. She's 16 inches long, and she is called Espresso Brown. Now what I'm going to show you here is how I style her. Now keep in mind that I'm not an expert. I'm just someone who's been wearing wigs for a while. And this is what I do to help my wigs out. It might work for you. It might not. Now I do realize that in this video it might not show a complete difference a complete difference in how I style the wig but for all intents and purposes this is what I do to make a wig look more realistic now you can either do this on a mannequin and pin it down or you can do what I do and this way I just get a better visual of how it looks on me and I just figured it was better to film this way because this is how I knew how to do it but typically what I do is I will pluck through the top and I will flip over the hair as so you just I couldn't find my little uh, rat comb so I used what I could just to kind of pluck and then shift the part pluck shift the part and sometimes and I have overdone it before so I've learned it's better to do a little bit at a time uh, sometimes I'm short on time so I do what I can but I just wanted to show you the basics of what I do to thin out the top of the hair just to make it look a little more realistic now keep in mind this is not a lace front but thinning the front can sort of help just make it look realistically less dense if you're concerned about feeling like it looks too wiggy but the nice thing about human hair is it doesn't have that same voluminous look that synthetic hair often has now you guys know me if you watch my channel and I get very sensitive with lace fronts and so the fact that I was offered this wig um, to review by Uniwigs I just absolutely loved I feel like it was a perfect wig for me to review because I love a good wig that's not a lace front and I've learned some tips and tricks along the way on how to make it look more natural now given that this shade of brown is a little darker than my natural um, hair color I would recommend wearing this color if it's not natural for you with darkening your eyebrows and some makeup which I do plan on doing in a future video but for this I just wanted to show you how I style it now what I'm using right here is called a hot comb um, you can just look up the term hot comb and there's tons of different options you can use on Amazon it it ended up it, it worked a little bit on this piece but I like it because if you're trying to make the wig not look so voluminous um, it is good to uh, use this to help lay it flat you know you can also use this on a synthetic wig I'll help you know you just got to use a lot of water and be very careful but it, it can help with some of the times you know a wig will get that box look and this just helps flatten it out a little bit and give it more of a sleek finish if that's what you're wanting. Um, I will tell you that I'm about to use, uh, there it is, the Beach Waver Curling Wand. And I am not good at curling hair, you guys. So not only do you get to watch me curl my hair in a way that probably most people don't curl it, but you're going to watch me learn how to use this thing. I've used it on my daughter. Oh, look, I did it backwards. I went to flip outwards. You want to flip the hair outwards when curling because it helps with um, just helps open your face up so I've been told I usually take my human hair wigs into the wig professionals over at um, designer wig outlet with um, Haley and her group but I was trying to do this on my own save a little money and be able to make this video with this beautiful wig so I was trying to use this myself. So I am still learning about it. So you can leave as many comments as you want about how terrible I am at curling hair and I'll probably agree with you. At the end of the day, I feel like my hair ended up looking pretty good and I can't wait to show the before and after photos. Um, but right now I'm just showing you guys 
how I curled it just to change the look up. Now it did come with that natural curl and I thought about either flat ironing this or curling it, but I, I decided the look that I wanted to go with this piece um, is to get it all done up, you know, nice curls for church style hair and then put on some makeup and wear it out. But since I had filmed this video, um, the plague had hit my family and then I tried a new facial cleanser that caused what they called um, uh, de detox outbreaks or purging outbreaks or something like that where it cleanses your face but it, it ends up cleansing that out through a breakout and then your face clears up. So I obviously wasn't going to film some more pictures when my face looked like um, it did you know when you're 16 years old but here I am using this curling wand you can sit here and comment on how terrible I am at it but I did try so for all of you who are wanting to learn how to use a um, curling wand or curling piece like that you look f learn from my mistakes or learn about what I was doing I think if I wasn't filming and trying to do it from the phone it would have been easier but trying to look on the phone just kind of messed me up a little bit but you know at the end of the day you can curl your hair however you want I know a lot of people go for this pretty beach wave curl which honestly that's why I bought this thing and I'm still learning how to get that curl I like to practice on my daughter's hair but <laughs> I'm practicing on this piece now which you know let's talk about this wig and how wonderful it is so the fibers they feel amazing they they feel like good quality human hair which is something you want when looking for a piece and as i was curling it you can see that it holds a curl really well and this is without the hairspray so that's a good thing i couldn't imagine how well it, it would turn out if I knew how to actually curl my hair but once again this is me learning and uh, as you see I, I missed several pieces but um, the point is I wanted to show what this way can look like after you've messed around with it um, and you know we always want to see before and after uh, videos and photos of a wig you know straight out of the box and after you've messed with it because we do know that while a lot of times you can just take a wig out of the box and run with it sometimes you got to play around with it and it just depends on what you want and how well that wig and the color matches your face shape and your skin tone and I felt like with this piece because it's just a little darker for me which I love dark hair um, it just I wanted to mess around with it and see how it held a curl and uh, I definitely plan on getting dressed up and um, putting some makeup on and wearing this out um, but these fibers like I said it's 100% human hair they were very silky you know sometimes you, you can buy a human hair wig and you can tell if the fibers have been if they have like textile dye in them or if it's natural you know some at least i can tell i bought enough wigs in my life i feel like i can say that i'm a pretty good judge of character when it comes to, to wig quality uh the real test of time of course is after you've worn a wig several times and then even you know washed and blow dried it a few times to see what the quality is like but so far with this piece i was very impressed with it um i did like the the cap so i'm a very sensitive person when it comes to wigs and it seems like the older i get the more irritated my scalp gets when it comes to wearing wigs so I've had you sell and I'm in the process of selling a bunch of wigs that I love but they're just too itchy for me and this one I was able to wear no problem I will admit that I had that silicone wig grip underneath which is itchy for my head it used to not be but now it is like I said I'm getting more sensitive as time goes on but as I wore this wig um, I also that's also the other reason why I wanted to keep it on my head and style it so I could just get a good feel for how 
it was on my head because if I can't even wear a wig to style my hair in, how am I going to wear it out and about, right? So this gave me an idea of how I was going to like this piece and the wig was not itchy at all and I think, you know, if, if you're a real stickler for natural, you might want to pluck at the hairline a little bit more the way I showed you, but I wasn't worried. I mean, you can see scalp. It looks like good, healthy hair, which makes you look younger. I don't know if anyone has realized this, but when you start wearing wigs, you start looking a lot younger. And that's what we all want, right? I know some people might say, no, I don't care. I just, you know, like wearing this or that. And because some people, they just, all they want to wear is blonde hair. And I've noticed that if a lot of people, they look much older when they wear blonde hair. Because that's all I see them in. But once I see them wear a brunette piece or a redhead, they look like 10 years younger. And, you know, it's, so to me, you know, I like to wear pieces that are flattering and make me look young and saucy and I think, you know, when you wear wigs, that definitely adds youth to your face.